Today's tale sees us trying to make wine. We're going to be playing Terrar, and I'm terribly sorry if I do not pronounce that right. I, uh, I went to go listen to it on uh, YouTube to see how it was pronounced, and my god, I think that's beyond me. So, uh, I make it sound more like a dog sound. Rar, tarar. Anyway, so it's all about making wine. So we have our chateau over here, which basically looks like a log cabin at the moment because we have no upgrades on it. We have our little grapevines here, which we haven't planted yet because it's not planting season. We also have a wine cellar, which apparently doesn't work if you paused. And we have a little pair of shares to keep everything going. So we're going to start getting along here. And now the wine cellar works. So we have no wine created just yet. So we're going to move forward in time. We're going to try and get some decent wine. I've, I've played this a little. And, uh, well, it's been interesting. That's for sure. It has been interesting. So we're going to plant. We're going to try for some Cabernet. Uh, planting cost is about 5000 You start with about 25000 Monthly cost is $50. It's not too bad. It's not too expensive. So the idea is, is through the seasons, your vines here need to be looked after. So they get a couple of levels of growing on them. They get this little this little thing here where they have no foliage. Then they look a bit more bushier where they have some foliage. And then they have this huge bush, which means they are covered in foliage. And then they have overgrowth, which basically looks like more foliage with uh, grapes coming out of it. So you got to keep an eye on this ripeness meter here. Apparently the key zone is around 4, 5, and 6. And each time it's a sunny day, a rainy day, a cloudy day. Uh, not a cloudy day, this can go up and down. So basically, sunny days and rainy days. So here we have light foliage. So if it's sunny, we should get uh, an increase of 1. If it's, uh, if it's rainy and we have too much foliage, we will go downhill on the ripeness. So, as the seasons travel along, you just want to keep an eye on this meter. You want to try and get the best you can. So here, oh, we're still on light foliage, but our gro grapes are getting along here. So we got clear weather here, so this should go up a little, in theory. And we are into summer. So you've only got a few months of growing, and apparently we're not going enough quite yet. Uh, so we have uh, got a bit of rot going on. Which, uh, should it come to June, we might start clearing off the stuff. But we're doing alright. We had a couple of cloudy days. We are sitting around the 5 mark. Not doing too bad. We might get to harvest soon, which would be great. I find in summer, there tends not to be so much uh, rain. So we've got the correct level here, right? So we've got optimal foliage, which is great for us. So we're going to harvest that. And we did really well this year. Uh, we managed to get a yield of 1.4 tons. And through having it in the 5, 4, 6 region, you get uh, you get basically this bottle here, which means that you're going to have slightly better harvest, right? So next up is these steps to making our wine. So to begin with, you don't really have many methods of uh, crushing your wine. We have the ye old version of climbing in the tub and jumping around uh, for the uh, piggage here. But uh, you can get later on better levels of technology, which we do not have. So the idea, I, I tried playing around with this a bit. It's a little bit confusing. I even had to Google what tannins were and all that kind of stuff. So tannins are... It, Basically, it's it's horrible if you've got tannins. Uh, and we get an increase here. It, it said it was horrible. I'm, I'm really not sure. Like, it's been an absolute struggle learning to make wine. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. I think uh, it's a process, right? You've got to learn how to, uh, how to do things here. So, I've been trying to keep around a level of... Uh, five for everything so our fermentation process here 
for every month that we fermentate, we decrease the sweetness by one. So I'm going to ferment for two months and try and drag the sweetness down a little to four. And hope, because I don't want too sweet a wine, right? Uh, so we're going to leave that to ferment for a few months. I actually found the start of the game to be... It's a little rough, right? If you don't get this first, uh, this first one right, then uh, you're in for a pretty rough time because, meanwhile, the costs are going, right? It's been ten... $10,000 just for just for my first bunch of wines. I've still got to bottle them. I've still got months of uh, keeping them in my cellar. You know, I don't have anything in my cellar dweller here. And uh, actually, we got an empty lot there. That's unfortunate. Normally, you start next to a, a nicer square than an empty lot. Uh, so we're not getting any bonuses on this. If you do have uh, if you do have a forest tile next to it, you get bonuses. Uh, so we're going to crush it down here. So, when we start doing the pressing, uh, the more you press it, the more acidity you have. Now to me, acidity sounds like a terrible thing to have in your wine. It sounds pretty nasty, right? So I try to reduce, I try not to have much acidity at all. So we're going to begin pressing here with no uh, press juice, so all free run juice, which basically means it's not going to be as uh, acidy. And we are going to begin our pressing. And then next up, we've got to barrel it. So we've only got one way to barrel it at the moment. Uh, everything's locked behind having a tier 2 chateau. So we're going to put it on the old aged barrel here, the old common French oak. We're going to leave it in there. Apparently it decreases in acidity and tannins by two for every month you leave it stored. To me, I haven't seen that happen. And I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's because the game is new or not, because... I'll show you. So we'll store this for a couple of months, right? Say 12 months. 12 months, to me, that sounds like it should have no acidity and no tannins, right? Because that's been, uh... That's been forever in storage. But, by the way the game makes it out, it, uh, it basically shows it as having whatever you began with, right? And also, I've called my, uh, I've called my winery the Pig Swill Winery, because, uh, mostly I end up making Pig Swill. It's, uh, pretty horrible stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure I would be buying it. Most of the, uh... Most of the critics tend to throw me under the bus and give me the one star. But uh, we'll see how we do. So we're rolling around into another season. So it's, it's kind of a bit of a, a bit of tedium, right? Because we have to make sure that this is going fine, that our uh, stuff's aging, that we're selling stuff. So I'll show you selling in a bit. But we're just going to keep an eye on our vines here. And hopefully we're going to have some uh, decent growth this year. This is not good. We need some rain here. We need some rain. Otherwise, uh, if this gets too high, they get overexposed and burnt by the sun. All right, that's a bit of rain. So we should get a little bit of foliage here. Uh, there's not... If you get overexposed, it's a bit harder to bring it down towards the end since I find there's not a lot of rain in summer. I, uh, I have had rainy seasons, but... Uh, all right, we're going to... I think we're going to chop that down. We want it to go up a little bit more. Oh, um, maybe I should have left it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have one more rainy day and I'll leave it at that. But uh, we're going to check up on our wine here. As it's slowly aging. See how... So it's been in here for six months, right? So at one loss of uh, acidity and two loss of tannins per month, it uh, does not seem to be going down at all, uh, unless it's just not updating, which could be a thing. So at six months, I think we could probably bottle this if it's not updating. Uh, so we're going to bottle this. So you get to pick your bottle, you get to call it what you like. We're going to leave it as the old pig swill here. And we're going to leave it the screw cap, because if you chuck on a cork, it does get a little bit more expensive. And... Uh, I don't know. I think you can sell them for a bit more if they're uh, if they've got corked. But 
for now we are a poor old chateau here. We have very little in the way of resources. And if we do badly on this first one, we are going to have very little resources. So we're going to organize a taste testing here. We're going to get some, uh, we're going to get some critics in. I love this guy. Old, old Scorchio, eh? Uh, come on, Scorchio. You're going to get in here. And uh, old uh, Boris, come, uh, come check out my wine. Come check out my wine. So they have prestige, I think. The higher their prestige is, the more you can sell your wine for. Because up here it says your rating will affect your wine prices, right? But also, uh, if you get the most uppity reviewers, then it must be great, right? Right? <laughs> so we're going to get a tasting here, and we got five stars. So to me, I'm pretty sure keeping most things low seems to be where it's at. That's how I've done most of these bottles. Uh, I did try a couple where it was higher up, and, well, they told me it was crap, so, there's that. Next up, we want to sell it at the bottle store. So, if you only sell it at one bottle store, you actually get a, uh, a bonus on your pricing. Also, you'll see that these sell for 20. Uh, if they sell, if they're like, if they're like a one star, they tend to sell for the nine, so it's like, uh, it's like buying the garbage one, right? Uh, so we're going to sell it for this one guy. And what happens is you get this distributor re relation price per bottle. And it goes up by two, which means as soon as I click done, this guy should actually be selling it at a bit more for us. So we're going to go done, and I'll show you what I mean. So if we go over to the sell again, we can see that he's selling it at 28 per bottle, right? And he's selling 480 bottles. I find if you just keep selling slowly on your first one, you'd kind of do all right. When I started out, I was like, sell all my bottles, and I just shoved it across everybody, and it was, it was a disaster. I, uh, well, all I had was wine to eat, and I starved to death. So we got our next bunch coming around, so we'll keep an eye on them. We don't want them getting too burnt here. We also, so if you have them too soggy, they get rot, and they, uh, your yield really sucks. If you have it too high, you burn it, and your yield isn't quite as affected, but the outcome is. And we are having some serious problems here in summer. I need some rain now, otherwise we are about to get overexposed here. Uh, ooh, seven marker. It's not good. It's not good at all. So we're going to have a bit of a struggle trying to keep this wine in the correct region. Uh... So you can see we're probably not going to get, uh, we might not get the full yield. We'll see what happens. Maybe if we're lucky we get a bit of, nah. It is another clear day. So over here in the weather section, if it's a clear day, this will go up by one if you've got, uh, light foliage. If you've got no foliage, it'll go up by two. Uh, we're probably just going to harvest it now. It's a bit burnt. Uh, and because we've burnt it, you kind of get massive readouts on uh, on these ones here. And also, because it's overexposed, your star will be reduced. Alright, so if you get bad things on here, your stars get reduced. So we're going to climb into our barrel again, start crushing our grapes. Uh, it is going to increase our tannins by two, but we have... We already have maximum tannins on this thing, so there is no escaping that. Uh, next up, we are going to try and ferment it forever. I would like for it to uh, have less sweetness. It has a massive body count, but we're going to try and bring down that sweetness, because that is way too much. Six is still too much. I think I'm going to get a terrible rating on this one. Luckily, we do have other bottles to sell, so we have a little bit of leeway there. In fact, how is our bottle selling going? So, I found that it's kind of hard to work out how much stuff you have. You have to just keep looking here. So, we have sold... Uh, we've sold 300... Have we sold 300? Uh, okay, we've actually sold everything. Interesting. Sometimes it'll say what's remaining to sell. Uh, so, what I do is I keep selling to the one guy. And you can see that his rating goes up a bit here. So, we might... Uh, hmm. Alright, I've already done it to him. Alright. 
Fair enough. I was going to sell him less, but it seems uh, he's already got it. And we can see we've gone up to 36 per bottle. It does go down over time, so you've got to kind of keep drip feeding them stuff, which I should have done. I shouldn't have sold them so much at once. Uh, which is slightly unfortunate. Oh, I can construct a building. Alright, I've never had uh, building constructions before. What do I get out of a worker's office, though? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? It says I get workers, but I kind of already have workers, so... It's a little interesting. And we have got only 144 bottles to go. Looks like we just sold a bunch more wine. So we might try and feed in a little bit more to this guy. Nope, he's still got a bunch to go. Alright, oh, I'll show you what I mean. So down here, we we're still waiting to sell 168 bottles. So we'll keep up with that. And we will try and hopefully sell in uh, a few more bottles. Keep that pricing going up. While we wait for... Uh, Wait for our next bit to ferment. The old fermentation, it does take a while if you want the old full four months. Uh, sometimes you'll find you're, you're attending to the crops before anything else. The crops look a bit weedy, actually. I don't know about that. These guys look like creepy old uh, wacky waving arm people. All strapped to their uh, wall there. Uh, we're still waiting here. We're still waiting. How is my bottle sellage going though? I think we've probably sold a little bit more. Alright, so we're probably going to throw in... Might just start throwing in smaller amounts here. We'll probably sell 50. And that puts him up to 5, which means he'll, uh, he'll, he'll buy my wines for 10% more. Which is great for us. So we're going to go done. I, I should have done that to begin with. I should have sold at smaller amounts uh, to get that up and going. So we're up to 44 per bottle, which is good for us. So we should be making a fair profit here. Alright, it's time to crush. So this time around, we're probably going to crush in some acidity here. Uh, we might get in probably about 4, 3. That'll give it up to 4. Uh, so I've got 30% pressed juice. So each pressed juice gives me a one acidity so we're gonna press it and then we're gonna barrel it uh, into our common French oak god damn commoners so we'll decrease our acidity and our tannins by one and two so we're not gonna need about five months for it to be good right uh, in theory so we'll wait for that one to do its thing we're in February so it should be growing season soon and uh, it sounds like it's raining. So if you have a, you can zoom out. You can buy all these squares. They are pretty expensive to begin with. Uh, 75 here. And we just grew optimal foliage, which is not good for us. Uh, we might strip it down a bit here to no foliage. And hopefully we can get some, couple of good days in spring. And then hopefully it rains a bit. Because with no foliage, if we get too many sunny days it will go up pretty quick even on a cloudy day with no foliage it goes up by one so uh, it's kind of dangerous to do this but I did think it might rain a bit it tends to rain a lot in the spring uh, so we got a bit of light foliage there and you don't want it sitting at one for ages because the rot is pretty deadly I had some rot and it takes uh, it takes half your uh, Half your yield there. My god, it is just raining uh, a lot this uh, this time around. Doing a bit of battle with the old vines here. My god, even in summer it's going to be like this? Alright, I don't want to construct. Do not want to construct. Uh, so we're cloudy again. So with the light foliage and cloudy, it shouldn't go up. On sunny, it should go up by one. So I'm hoping we're going to get some clear days here. Nope. Currently it is just going to rain all through summer. If it gets towards the end of summer, we're going to have to strip off all of the uh, all the grapes here. Uh, all the foliage, which is a little scary. Uh, we're up to one. Ah, 
You're gonna rain again. Man, this is the most rainy season I've had. At least we haven't got any rot. Normally I get rot about now. A little scary. Whoa, come on. Come on. Even in August, you're just gonna rain. Uh, so this is a slight disaster. We might have to... We're gonna strip this completely off. And hope that we can maybe get a month out of this. Uh, if we're lucky. Alright, apparently it's just gonna rain. We're just gonna try and strip this down. Okay. And, uh, it's just gonna keep raining, apparently. Come on. Come on, just give me one day. One day. Of sun. Come on. So the longer you grow up for, the more yield you get. Uh, but you gotta be careful. You don't go into winter, obviously. And we're gonna harvest it. So we did get the rot in the end. Uh, and it's really affected us. Uh... We only got a point nine yield. That is really annoying. It rained so much that year. All right, we're gonna climb in and start crushing that down. And I think our other barrel here should be done. So we got we got some earthy tastes on it. Okay. Uh, the sweetness does concern me because that is massive. Uh, we also overexposed it to the sun. So we're gonna bottle this one up. And we're also going to sell some of this. We haven't been paying attention here. And we're going to sell in another 50 bottles to him. We're going to organize ourselves a wine tasting here. And I think this isn't going to come in that well. I have a feeling this is going to be a disaster. After your first one, you do get old Caleb here. I found that with the, the one stars, you tend to get higher. But I think Caleb, if he rates it well... Then you will do, uh, and it'll sell more. Uh, it'll sell for a bigger price. But we're gonna get a tasting here, and I did think, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, well, my wine's pretty crap. You should consider a career change. Well, unfortunately, uh, we didn't have much choice here. So we're gonna sell a couple of these bottles. I'm probably gonna sell, sell them to old, uh, Ferreira and Brothers here. I think we might sell in, uh, sell in a hundred. I found the crappier the wine, the longer it takes to sell as well. So you gotta be a bit careful there, because if you sell in a whole bunch of crappy wine, then, uh, then, uh, yeah, you will be stuffed. Uh, sweetness is at three, so we're gonna do this for less than a month, because I would like for my sweetness to stay the same. We are gonna... We're going to press in nothing. We're just going to leave it at all as free run juice on this run. Because I don't want that acidity going up at all. And we are going to barrel things here. Our old common French oak. Get in there, sir. Get in there. That is quite unfortunate that our other one didn't come through. And this one's probably not going to be that great as well, unfortunately. Uh, it's a little bit of a concern. That sweetness, I think, stuffed me. I think it stuffed me completely. And with that, I think we'll take a break. Tune in next time for more adventures of wine making. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.